Hey there, it's Carl Kwan here from PresentationExpressions.com. I've got for you 15 seconds to success or failure. What do you think that means, 15 seconds to success or failure? Well, we're talking about presentations, we're talking about introductions, so you can probably guess. So, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. This is very true, however, there are some cases where if you're, for example, a lawyer, you might have several chances to meet your clients and then maybe create an impression. But in general, everybody, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So, how do you make a good first impression? Well, in order to make a good first impression, you should understand why you even need to make a good first impression. Number one, it will make you feel confident and give the other person the feeling that you are confident as well. So, your perception or their perception of you is going to be good right from the beginning. You will come across as being very, very professional. This is important if you are in academics, if you are in business. It doesn't matter what field you are in. If you come across as being professional, that can only create a good impression. Next, it tells people that you are trustworthy because of your confidence, because of your professionality. That, or professionalism, sorry, no professionality, right? Professionalism tells people that you are someone they can trust. This also indicates that you have a certain level of ability. So it is very important to have a good introduction to create a good impression. Now, how do we do that exactly? Well, looking at this image here, this is an old style elevator. So we're gonna use a kind of modified elevator pitch. And because only 15 seconds, it's gotta be a fast one. Well, there are only three parts you need to be aware of. Number one is who you are. Number two is what you do and maybe where you work type of thing. And finally, how you can help someone. So this is similar to features and benefits and advantages of those benefits. Now the who, very, very simple. All we have to say is your name and your company or your name and your school or whatever organization you belong to. So very simple. Hi, my name is Carl and I work for Qualys. Or hi. I'm Carl from whatever company, okay? Very, very simple way to introduce yourselves. Now this part here is what type of value, service, or specialty you offer. And you can start this by saying, I help. You can say, for example, I help companies tell stories, which is what I do. I help companies tell stories so that they can get better branding, so that they can get more market share, generate leads, whatever it might be, okay, whatever mine might be, so I help. Or you can also say I provide. If you are a student, you can also say I research or I study or I work to understand. That might be something if you are a student. If you are a service person, a business person, I help, I provide is a good way for you to go. Now the how, this is how you can help them. So in this case here, I want you to think about what is the worst or most common case that you would have to deal with or the type of people that you would be able to help? And you could start this by saying, even if. So you would say, hi, my name is whoever from wherever. I help whatever you do, okay, so that you can get this or whatever your benefit is. Now, even if you've tried everything else and failed, okay, so maybe you help them do something to be successful but they think, oh, well, you know, I can't. So you tell them, well, even if you failed miserably a million times, I can help you. Quickly to recap that, who, what, how, for a 15 second quick impression, whether it be for a presentation or as an introduction for when you're meeting people. Hi, my name is so-and-so and I work for whatever, or hi, I'm so-and-so from whatever company you might be from or school, whatever it might be. I help people to better understand themselves so that they can be better people and be more successful in their life. I provide services that enable you to get better sales and faster sales in a shorter amount of time. Even if you've tried everything else and none of it worked. Even if you think that the internet is a fad. Whatever it might be, okay? So, that was it. Really quickly, a 15 seconds to success or failure. Quick little presentation for you so that you can really do a good job introducing yourself and making a good impression because it's just so important, like I said. Good luck. Let us know if you have any questions or comments about that and we'll see you again soon.